And Wayne Duplessis lives in Wuhan with his family. He joins us now live. Thank you so much for talking with us as you confront this very difficult situation for yourself and your family and friends, of course. Now, you are in lockdown in a city of 11 million people with no public transport or taxis running right now, just bikes apparently. How are you coping with everything? As best we can. Um, we've been able to get out a couple of times and buy groceries and buy water. And we've been able to find a, a local person that will deliver food and water. And that's very helpful. And we haven't used that yet. But uh, right now we have enough. And the, the worry, of course, is that if this continues much longer, then, well, we'll have to rely on this person. And uh, hopefully we won't have to make the trip out ourselves. You're right. That is a real concern, of course. And what are you being advised to do at this time? Clearly, uh, the first uh, advice, which you, seems to be, you, you, you were mentioning there, was stay in the house. Yeah. Well, when this first came up, if you don't mind me going back a little bit. Oh, of course. It, when this first came up for us uh, was... Um, just before the new year, uh, not the, before the Chinese New Year, before before January 1st, I, I guess on the 30th or the 31st. And this is the first that we knew about it. Now, we still had exams to go through, and we didn't take it as seriously as perhaps we should have. Um, having been through SARS, uh, I was probably a bit more nonchalant about it than I should have been. Um, so we went through this, and then afterwards, of course, we went on holiday uh, and then we came back to, we went on holiday in China and then we came back. And then a couple of days after returning last Monday, uh, returning to uh, Wuhan, the lockdown went into effect. So then we were told, of course, wash your hands and don't go out and wear masks. And, and of course, now they're talking about wearing goggles and uh, really don't congregate. Don't get together in groups. Don't go out. Right. And, and most course, people are following yeah. them. And there's a limited supply of these surgical masks as well, which is a concern for so many people. So what's the Canadian embassy telling you about any prospects to get out of Wuhan? Is that what you want to do? Do you want to, to be evacuated? No. Uh, for, forgive me, and I, I think that it, it is... Uh, probably not a good idea to be evacuating people because you're putting people, I think you're putting other people at a potential risk. And this is only my personal opinion. I'm not a medical professional by any stretch of the imagination. But you've got uh, about a 14 day window, as I understand it, of incubation. And you're putting people into an airplane with recycled air. And if someone is potentially infected and are asymptomatic, then there's the danger of infecting other people. So I think that we'll stay put until we know more. Right. Uh, it's interesting because a lot of people, you know, very much want to be evacuated out, but that is a consideration for sure. And how long do you think uh, Wuhan will be in lockdown? And what's being done for those who have the coronavirus right now in Wuhan? Well, the, the hospitals are certainly... Uh, doing the best they can. And of course, understandably, they're overwhelmed, but they are building two field hospitals and they're doing it at a, a fairly accelerated pace. Um, originally, it was going to be one and now it's two. And the premier, and forgive me for not knowing his name, did visit Wuhan the other day. Um, other than that, it's just people are in their homes and they're advising people who, who are not um, you know, serious don't go to the hospital, don't go out. And, uh, you know, relying on on their family to take care of them. Right. It is such a difficult uh, situation. Our thoughts are with you and your family and your friends and all the people there in Wuhan and across China. It, it is uh, just unbelievable situation to have to deal with. Uh, Wayne Duplessis, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. And we want to...